Hey guys, so today I'm here with yet another State of Jailbreak video. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about iOS 4.1, and yeah, I know, I just did a video just a couple days ago, but a lot of stuff has changed today. Um, so may, the main thing was is that 4.1 is now out for all devices. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and plug it into iTunes and download it and update it. Uh, now, actually, if you just want to know more about 4.1, go ahead and take a look at the annotation on the screen right now. Um, I recently did a 4.1 overview video talking about all the new changes, and all that stuff still is entirely valid, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested in knowing more. Uh, now, standard warning, if you do upgrade to 4.1, you will lose your jailbreak, and there currently is no jailbreak on iOS 4.1. So just kind of just a warning there. You can go ahead and test it out if you like, but just know that you're not going to be able to be jailbroken. Um, now, there actually is good news as far as that goes. There actually was just very, very recently a new exploit found in 4.1. So it looks like before too long, there will be a full jailbreak for 4.1, which is fantastic. Um, so actually what it is is that there is an exploit, which I'm sure most of you guys know this, but um, basically they have an exploit, but it's going to take a little while for them to actually build the jailbreak around that. So really not sure when it will be out. Um, I would guess maybe three weeks, two weeks, maybe a month. I would guess somewhere in that time range, but it could be less or it could be more. It just kind of depends on how uh, how easy it is for the dev team to go ahead and get it done. Um, but if you are on 4.1 and you really want a jailbreak like we all do, um, it will be coming soon. Uh, so guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, just the last thing I did want to mention, it's not really news or anything, but I just want to give you guys a quick reminder. If you're interested in going to 4.1, or even if you're not, whatever, get your SHSH blobs on 4.0.2 right now. Um, so guys, 4. Point, well, earlier versions are better, but if you can get it at least on 4.0.2, definitely I recommend it. Uh, just, you know, I have a video, just go ahead and check it out on the, uh, on the uh, annotation on the screen right now. Go ahead and take a look at that. I just show you how to use a firmware umbrella to go ahead and grab your SHSH blobs because Apple will quit signing that and if there's a jailbreak or for whatever reason, it's always a great idea to have as many SHSH blobs as you can so that you can at any time downgrade to whatever firmware you want. So guys, definitely go ahead and check that video out if you haven't. Um, get your firmware signed for 4.0.2 or 4.0.1 or whatever you already have. Definitely go ahead and get that done because it really will help you in a later date. You never know what jailbreaks will be compatible with what. So it's always good to have options. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it for my update. Just wanted to let you guys know that 4.1 is out and that there will be a jailbreak before too long that will allow you to go ahead and do it. So of course I will keep you guys up to date. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.